Welcome, Captain Will Rogers here on the 380 Outrage, and it's gonna be my pleasure to walk you through the main features of the boat. Why don't we go up to the bow right now and look at the anchoring system. On this boat, we have a through hull anchoring system with a nice quick windlass, a remote control, fresh water wash down, and of course, storage for the tools. Once we uh, see that, we can see up here in the bow area that we have this formulated into a nice sun pad area for relaxation. Um, however, if you did want to take this off and use it for fishing, there's a nice non-skid finish under all of these cushions. One of the key features that I like here is the flip up backrest seating. And the key thing here is that when you're resting here, your arms go right to a railing for safety, which is just phenomenal. So we can put that back down. There we go. As we look back here to the sun pad, we can also see that it is a lockable storage area for the boat. And in this case here, we have a very nice igloo cooler, dive tank bottle storage, two five gallon buckets, and ample storage for other dive gear. As I put this back down, this area can also reveal very nice armrests, both to the port and starboard areas. You can see the cup holders incorporated there along with a USB charger right in the center. One of the other key features of the boat that I see here is the bow sunshade, which comes in very handy, uh, especially here in South Florida on our beautiful sunny days. So that's a key feature of the boat, one of the key options. As I make my way back to the helm station, we can see that we have two 16 inch Raymarine monitors recessed in acrylic we also have a fusion head unit recessed in the acrylic. We have two air conditioning vents. You can see here from the condensation that the air conditioning is working great. And from a control and function standpoint, a beautiful tilt and trim steering wheel, our binnacle controls, and of course our joystick piloting. One of the other key features here that I love to point out is how all of the electrical switches are within fingertip reach and in the area up here on the dash, we have a storage unit with charging ports for USB and 12 volt. So great place to toss your wallet or your cell phone. As I look overhead here, we can see the Sea uh, Keeper 6 gyro control, our Raymarine VHF radio, our Vessel View 7 engine telemetry monitor, and then of course just a small glove box. One of the other things that we see here too is a defrost button for the windshield forward comes in handy for those early mornings. And we do have on this boat a augmented fan power to boost some of the air conditioning. Really key feature. As we look here at the uh, helm station again, uh, there is a step up for those that are vertically challenged. We have three bolster seats. And of course the center seat is electric and actuates forward and aft. And of course we have the bolsters here. All right, now on our 380 Outrage, we do have an ample cabin. So why don't you come down and have a look at this cabin with me? As I come down here, one of the first things that I'm enjoying is the air conditioning today. But again, following that fishing tradition at Whaler, we have rod storage here for uh, Penn Internationals or sh large Shimano offshore reels. Um, we have a head compartment with a dedicated door and of course a vacuum flush system and as we can see a wand shower and so forth. But a great, uh, great uh, area here to have as a changing room. A small vessel sink and then of course a nice V-berth forward here uh, for those who want to overnight or you can sit down here uh, in the evening and just have a, a board game right here on the cushions. So a really nice area of the boat. As we come up we can see that um, this particular boat has a uh, the summer kitchen arrangement here in the stern and uh, as I pop that up we can see the large sink area here uh, it does come with a beautiful little cutting board and uh, of course that's complemented by a grill you can see the grill here Kenyan grill uh, one of my favorite things is the paper napkin holder and uh, you can see that when uh, when all this is put together it all closes up quite nicely and again as I said uh, earlier uh, this has a Seakeeper 6, and that Seakeeper 6 is right here in this area here. So we have dedicated storage uh, throughout, and this storage is lockable. Um, this particular boat is outfitted with our uh, starboard side seating. And uh, I'll get that uh, deployed here in just a minute. See our starboard side seating there. 
and then of course our aft seat that we are very familiar with at Boston Whaler. So we flip that up and then we open it up like so. You have ample seating across the stern of the boat. In a minute, I'm gonna show you where the tables go that are here in the cockpit deck. But uh, for now, let's have a quick look at the dive ladder, which will go into the receptacle here by the dive door. So when we open the dive door, we're able to put the dive ladder in. And of course we have a little handle to help you come out of the water. We have rocket uh, downrigger ball holders. Of course, our cup hoss pipe arrangements here. And uh, that's some of the key features of the cockpit area. So let me take you down into the mechanical area. And uh, we'll have a quick look there. Here again, you can see dedicated storage for the tables that go in the cockpit area. The fuel filters, the 12KW Fisher Panda diesel generator. Uh, we can see that the uh, bronze through hulls, they're all grounded, uh, yacht quality through hulls, along with the mercury power steering pumps, and of course all the other pumps that uh, make up the fabric of this boat. Water manifolds and other things can also be found here, including the batteries for the uh, boat. Uh, this boat also incorporates our sure shade system and does have a full enclosure system that will close off the helm area uh, when you're out in that inclement weather. So for Captain Will, uh, this is the 38 Outrage. <laughs>